the ticking clock and the clicking mouse ticking and clicking <laughs> all right good evening good morning good day wherever you are welcome the ticking clock and the clicking we'll turn that down the audio is good chin chin We shall begin. Oh, let's um, screen share the correct one. All right, we'll get onto here. This is pre recorded the twenty eighth of February. You should know the year of 2023 it's got a mouthful there for you to swallow suits in chancery principles pleadings practice and proofs of the jurors prudence of equity must see <sighs> sit down get a drink and um, we shall begin thank you welcome much love bless up alongside other areas of information that have been given to you for references to do with um, the law of trusts trust law propositions of equity um, and the uh, the teachings of that the various authority of equity what do i mean various well ecclesiastical equity legal equity lawful equity what would be a good example the king james 1611 authorized version of the bible is uh, a, a fine example of a ecclesiastical abrahamic example of equity but then the english law system of the londinium templars law society is given the authority of its legal system by that 1611 KJV. So that's why it's important that we recognize jurisprudence, jurisdiction, um, ultra vires, you know, uh, the Latin, the Ecclesia. When we look at language and we look at English, Oxford English, American English, French English, you know, what are various elishes, English, we look at the eases, the legal ease, the, um, the Chinese. The Portuguese eases, the sovereign ease, as sovereigns would have their own uh, mother's tongue, uh, the grammar that we speak. So when we look into uh, Oxford English, Cambridge, and uh, various common tongue, non-legal, non-ecclesia, non-Latin um, versions uh, of language, we find implied meanings and definitions, and uh, used by the common tongue, our mother's tongue, and then we look at Latin, the church, you know, we're familiar with that, um, the language of Latin being involved in the English language, uh, illuminati, illuminated, lumens, candles, light, the light, the lumen, the illuminated, the uh, ill, umin, luminated, I luminated, initiates. So um, the intertwining of the, uh, of the uh, various forms, layers, uh, multifaceted dimensions much like multiple layers of law running simultaneously uh, at one time uh, much like jurisdiction being applicable to the person or the soul let's get some charge my apologies and um, jurisdiction embassy you know <clears throat> military bases on foreign territory that military base would be classed as whatever nation state it is, even though it's ensconced itself on a foreign jurisdiction. So jurisdiction, language, linguistics, Latin, ecclesia, church, legalese, finding Latin, finding the church type because of the KJV authorised version 1611, and being the authority for the uh, law society's legal system, which we, SPLSpro.com, David, Kevin, admins, Gansders, Albert, uh, all the boys, everybody, uh, PJ, Simon, Quinn, Claire, and initiates, supporters, members alike, 
you all uh, have realized and are realizing the pathways through all of this and how to navigate the uh, the stormy seas and get back to shore without a compass which is the measure of man so we have done an amazing amount of work to recognize authority jurisdictions uh, layers uh, of law uh, jurisprudence uh, and we can back up what we say and we've um, we've pioneered quite a lot uh, through having skin in the game so equity <clears throat> takes years to study it's the hardest most complicated area of law the bible takes years to study and people study that effectively or ineffectively initiates uh, disciples layman apostolates ambassadors witnesses um, of christ christ jesus coming with christ with jesus as a christ-like consciousness uh ooh, yeah the uh, the rebirth the seed the kundalini the chakras the physical the metaphysical the supposition the allegory um the uh, the metaphorical references uh, as well as the metaphysical it's uh, it's incredible it really is what the work has been done over the last 10 years uh credit to us so with that preface set one of the most important things that I think I can give to you right now at this moment in time, uh, in addition to the uh, domains and access points that you have, private and public, through splspro.com, Facebook, our Telegram, private and public chat, our website domain, our educational foundation, educational trust portal there. And um, we appreciate everything that you do and the support. And uh, I want to give back to you little is sometimes more less is sometimes more so rather than just barraging you with uh, torrents of videos and countless streams you know across tens of hundreds of hours I'm doing it a little bit different and with the introduction that we've given and um, the reference points in the case law and the uh, authors to equity trust law this is supplementary I get a lot of international questions regarding across the states across in the states across the pond equity trust law relevance backing up and um, one of the uh, books that is available as a pdf online i think you will all find this uh, most enlightening acceptable a treatise on suits in chancery setting forth setting forth the principles pleadings practice proofs and processes of the jurisprudence of equity and giving numerous illustrative forms of pleadings writs orders reports decrees and other proceedings in suits in chancery from their beginning to their ending besides many practical suggestions for solicitors and masters there's no r masters david masters cursus curis est lex Curies by Henry R. Gibson, A.M.L.L.D., Chancellor of the Second Chancery Division of Tennessee, Second Edition, revised and enlarged by the author, Knoxville, Tennessee, Printers and Binders, 1907, entered according to the Act of Congress in the year 1907 by Henry R. Gibson in the office of the Librarian of Congress at Washington, to my wife. Francis Reed Gibson this book is dedicated as my token as a token of my appreciation of her sympathy and assistance during its preparation it has 1237 pages I must warn you that when you search for this there are counterfeit copies being made available for commercial purchase on eBay Amazon and other such sites they do not have the full 1200 and 37 pages they're coming from the east and um, i urge you to be careful when you are looking for authentic reprints and copies of this you are looking for the 1237 page editions and i'd urge you to be careful before you rush out and try to find this uh, very rare uh, publication preface to the first edition while there is a general family resemblance between the systems of jurisprudence prevalent in the various states of the Union. The differences and peculiarities in their systems of pleading and practice are, nevertheless, so great that no work dealing with the procedure in courts is of much practical value to the practitioner. 
unless it is adapted to the jurisprudence and practice of the particular state in which he lives. Books of general practice with footnotes of the diverse rulings in various states are often more confusing than enlightening. What the practitioner needs is a book on the court procedure that omits everything that is not the law in his own state and contains everything that he is likely to need in the progress of a suit. Such a book I have endeavoured to make this, so far as the chancery practice is concerned. So it's important not to rush ahead and to look at what this book is, and what it's set out for, and what it will set to prove. So, and that's self-explanatory, I'm sure, so I continue on. What ordinarily happens in a litigation can well be comprised into one volume, but what very seldom happens, the unusual and the possible, would fill several volumes. What happens in matters of pleading and practice in 99 out of every 100 suits I have laboured to give? What may happen in the 100th suit I have not striven to forecast? The ordinary law is comparatively small in a compass. It is the exceptional and the uncommon that necessitate a multiplicity of books and fill libraries. And while I have not attempted to give what is exceptional and uncommon, my purpose has been to give everything likely to prove of value to be found in our states, in our statutes, decisions and rules of practice and in standard authorities on the subject. So for England, you, you need to stick with us because once again, I need to, you know, it's a segue point to say, you need to study not only specific to your own nation and landmass, but to your particular state. And then you would also need to know that, you know, such things, equity acts in persona. There has to be a person present for equity to act. Now, persons, what type of persons are there, you know, and, and what are the benefits of each type of persons and titles and rights? And, uh, and it goes, you know, it's not just a matter of, all uh, oh, right, uh, in a week I can do a crash course and become a master in and fully verse in and no you cannot um, language uh, dictionaries punctuation grammar styles you know uh, <laughs> syntax it's, it's very very uh, you know much a community or even a, a society effort that's why we have a self-help union at our website an educational portal uh, our domain and um, a self-help union, a society of uh, sovereign living souls, as it says in Genesis uh, two seven, when God breathed the, uh, when the Lord breathed the breath of life into Adam, Adam became a living soul. So uh, human rights articles, United Nations uh, Declaration, Article six, um, universal rights. There, each human is afforded the right to be recognised as a person. Um, you can respectfully and politely decline that right or you can invoke a type of a person. Let's look at what. <sighs> Don't fail me now. We're doing well. Ecclesiastical deed pol um, deed polex thumbprint print mark prints prints P R I N C E crown prints mum um, born waters crowning hello <laughs> and also prints as in uh, machine ink. P R I N T S prints, written, grammar, text. You can see the difference clearly between the two prints. And uh, if you listen to the word being spoken, you cannot. So again, dark arts, black magic, um, the uh, the un uh, the unseen being seen, the hidden being revealed, the occult um, of it, you know, uh, aspect of it coming to life. So again knowing <laughs> how to play this what title to claim uh, ink significance perhaps yes seals stamps etc perhaps yes relevant depending on the level of law that you are at um are we practicing law or are we the law are rights inalienable or unalienable um, be sure to look at the two differences spellings of those words and uh, how they are recognized and used much like the word principle and how they are spelt and used and the references to that so equity jurisprudence ecclesiastical um, law merchant admiralty maritime you know commercial public law superior law natural law common law <laughs> so again all right and that's the journey that you all need to be aware that we are on we have been on since um well into 2015 when we found the triangle window and the uh, the propositions of equity, trust law, and the relationships, the commingling of the jurisdictions, what actually uh, we need to start to deal with. We couldn't 
emulate a lot of that exactly from Bill Turner, from Santos Bonacci, from Jordan Maxwell, from um, any of the offshore foreign territories that uh, preach equity trust and etc. Courts of equity are courts of equity. You know, matters of chancery, courts of chancery, chancery courts, you know, aside, um, pretty much very similar. Crown copyright, copyright, crown language, interchangeable, uh, uniform commercial codes. Exactly the name does what it says on the tin. Law merchant, uh, unidroit, user fruct. <laughs> it's incredible. So just, I had to segue that in there as well because uh, it's relevant. In matters of equity jurisprudence, this work is based mainly on Pomeroy story and the statutes and the judicial decisions of our own state. In matters of chancery pleading, I have followed story in so far as consistent with our statutes. Daniel and Barber have also been drawn on quite largely. The many differences between our system of pleading and that of the English Court of Chancery are clearly pointed out where necessary to prevent confusion. In matters of chancery practice, the works of Daniel and Barber have been relied on where, when consistent with our statutes, decision rules of practice and system of jurisprudence. So again, rules, rules of law. There are rules and then there is law. There are various areas of law. When you speak of law, what law do, we, do you speak of? What jurisdiction does the court lie in at the moment? Does this court have permission from the chancellor in which to deal in matters of equity? You know, the chancellor, not the chancellor of the exchequer, the chancellor, you know, the Lord Supreme Justice, the Chief Justice. You've got Senate and you've got Congress across the pond. We've got a similar but different setup under the monarchy, um, a fusion of the church and state in England, a non fusion of the church and state across the pond. So naturally, the courts are going to be designed to work differently. Okay, the language, yeah, pretty much the same. The layout, pretty much the same. Courts <laughs> emulating colours of black, black. Law Dictionary, Latin Ecclesia, Maritime Merchant, Law Merchant, that is, <laughs> um, UCC, I, 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 you know, so uh, again, um, civil court practice over here, civil procedure rules, all right, is not the same as the, um, as the codified constitution of which they have across the state. So this is why it's hard to please everybody um, all the time. I recognize the subtle differences and the uh, the different ways of which we we need to recognize to to help one another and know uh, what would the words be you've got to um em originate in this instance is rather than emulate because it will not always work and you will fall uh, making errors and emissions in matters of chancery practice the works of daniel and barber have been relied on when consistent with our statutes decisions rules of practice and systems of jurisprudence so rules and law, the rules of the United Kingdom jurisdiction, PLC, the United Kingdom of Great Britain Corporation, are not the laws of England and Wales. The United States of America Incorporated, rules and policy and codes, etc., are not the laws of America. So your constitution and your laws and your codes and your commerce uh, rights and titles, uh, uh, rights, which rights, rights, Scottish right, York right, you know, uh, last rights, right turn, writing as in, you know, so again, one, one sound, but many different implied meanings and definitions, so R-I-T-E-S, rights, last right, law, L-O-R-E, as in folklore, common law, uh, universal law, natural law, hermetic law, etc and then l a w land air water land common air trust law water mercantile admiralty maritime law merchant etc so rules and law the rule of law it's an oxymoronic statement there are rules and there are laws you keep them separate preface account continuing in drawing the forms of pleadings, orders and decrees, brevity, simplicity, perspicuity and precision have been constantly kept in view and surplusage and prolixity have been avoided and reprehended. In the arrangement of the contents of the book, everything has been given in the order of time in which it usually takes place in the progress of a suit when possible to do so. 
Improving means for finding any particular matter in the book, a full index has been given in the back part of the book, and a complete table of contents in the front part of the book. And the titles of the chapters and articles have been given in the top margins of the book. And many cross-references will be found in the footnotes. Each section begins with a statement of his subject, in boldface type. The object of this work is to aid those who minister in the Chancery Courts. Minister, church, where do you find ministers? Mini, moonster, moon, language, mini, moony, moon, honeymoon. Went into this with husband and wife, Mr and Mrs, moon stars, moon, sun, solar, <laughs> planets. Again, so the ministers, merger of church and state, minister of, you know, in the government, ministers in the church. The object of this work is to aid those who minister in the chancery courts and to contribute somewhat to the improvement of the pleadings and practice in those courts. Henry R. Gibson. Preface to the second edition. We'll skip. So I'm getting tired. I'm not wanting to be here all day. I just want to show those across the pond a viable reference uh, that you would be wise to uh, to have a look at. We're on page 15 of 1,237. All right. When you have the electronic documents like this, you can press uh, Control and F to bring up a search box. Okay. You can type in, say, if my keyboard works, Equity. And it will search the document, all right? And it's telling me in the top right-hand corner is a... I don't know if you can see that. I think my camera might be in the way. You should see it's counting to... Uh, 1,069. Yeah, equity, yeah, you can see just by the left of the video and where I am in the top right hand corner so then it's highlighted equity the first one I would go next and it takes me to the next page 11 equity jurisprudence all right page 13 page 15 so you can search documents quite easily without having to read its whole contents because it's not always possible and um, practical to do so if you're looking for something you've got a digital PDF file you've got a keyboard in front of you way that I am in my journalistic um, avenues of research and discovery is um, I have to look at documents that contain tens of thousands of words millions of words uh, and also thousands of pages and to then articulately and concisely use my finite time here and to uh, allow me to be the best uh, journalist I can be to do my research I take shortcuts such as that that I hope some of you may find useful what do we have in the contents? The Chancery Court, its history, jurisdiction and principles, chapter 1. The history of the Chancery Court, the origin and evolution of equity jurisprudence. The history of the Chancery Courts of Tennessee. Chapter 2, jurisdiction of the Chancery Court, jurisdiction of the courts generally considered equitable or inherent jurisdiction of the Chancery Court, statutory jurisdiction of the Chancery Court, Chapter 3, Maxims and Principles of Equity, Maxims and Principles of Jurisdiction, Maxims and Principles of Adjudication, Maxims Applicable to the Court and its Practice Pleadings. Chapter 4, Notice, Liz, Pendens, Estoppel, Acquiescence, Negligence, Latches, Waiver and Consent. So again, the language is important. Latches uh, to do with Equity Trust, okay, and the, and the way that that functions there. Uh, estoppel, you know, equi equitable terms, terminology again. Um, equitable estoppel, asset, tacit acquiescence. You may have heard us talk about in reference before. You've got acquiescence straight there. You should be aware of what negligence is. Waiver, when one politely, um, no thank you. You know, and consent, yes please. Can I have some more of your New World Order legal system, please? Is not something a true authentic being and conscionable soul would ever ask for. Article 1 and Article 2. Chapter 5. Priorities and bona fide purchases. Purchases. Contents. Part 2. Proceedings in a suit in Chancery from its preliminaries to the appearance of the defendant. Chapter 6. Proceedings preliminary to a suit. Chapter 
seven parties to suits in chancery who may sue in chancery who may be sued in chancery general rules as to parties who should be complainants who should be defendants next friends and guardians ad litem miss joinder and non-joinder of parties folk have often asked what is this joinder where do i find out about joinder is joinder a real thing i don't find many references to this i'm not sure that you free men on the land and sovereign blah, 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 citizens with your template notices truly understand or that of which of that you pretend to purport Oh, let's see, you are um, promulgating and purporting. So there it is. Okay, joinder. Many of you will be reveling at that. Others may be like, what is this? I've never heard of it before. I shall indeed do some referencing. Effect of death or marriage of parties or assignment of their interests. Parties in particular suits, parties in suits and by and against the state, countries, cities and corporations. The next chapter, Original Bills in Chancery, or Chapter 8. Original Bills Generally Considered. Bills? Original Bills? What's that? A Bill of Sale? Perhaps you may have a bill. Bill. When orders are given, you often find that a bill follows an order. Yes, restaurant terminology, fast food chain terminology, parliamentary, congr congressional, uh, you know, type constitutional terminology. Frame of an original bill form of an original bill practical suggestions as to the drawing of bills the bills of exchange chapter nine proceedings preliminary to processes proceedings preliminary to processes you say yes that's right okay proceedings preliminary to extraordinary process filing of the bill the bill, what's that? Yes, uh, money or making, that's bill, money talk, financial talk now. When you hear of um, uh, um, uh, plea bargain, they are bargaining for what? They are pleading, begging for a slice of the cake, so they are making a plea bargain. Well, what are they bargaining for and why are they pleading and begging and etc.? In that instance, what is the bargain? Bargains, bargains associated with what? Departments, not departments of government, but department stores. Department store sales. You see how the language is interchangeable and intertwinable, but it is indeed separate and on its own streams and has its own implied meanings and juristic um, definitions and its relevant constitution, language, jurisdictions, text, context and subtext, Okay, which is all applicable. The thing with legalese, everybody, is... Um, unfortunately for us, it looks like, sounds like, and writes like English, Oxford English, American English, whatever English you are particular to. And um, it is not, it's a foreign language with its own dictionary and implied meanings and definitions. That's how the master plan, 80% of it, is cunningly done. That's why English is the most commonly spoken language around the world, because it's a legal, uh, what, commercial law language of which is used to uh, hoodwink us okay and the uh, the game is up the jig is over all right the cards are down on the table and the uh, the uh, the fifth dimension and quantum entanglement is underway the legacy has indeed been created the prophecy has been fulfilled we're moving on we're fulfilling the sacred contract of which we are trying to give a universal non-sectarian remedy to all where man uh, claims the 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 uh, world's resources as common heritage once more simple as why are we in debt who are the central banks why are central banks printing money that are basically a private cartel of gangsters giving it the government the government's then giving it us and we owe a bunch of private bankers money when we could actually uh, crack cash should i say credits and cash it's called cash not money if you really want to get down to it private uh, cartel is creating cash and we can create our own cash, you know, value, accepted for value. My bond, my word, my word is my bond. I promise you today I am giving you uh, clear, concise information of which I believe at the time of giving is accurate and, and correct. You know, and uh, we've been hoodwinked and we've been taken down a road here. Money, cash, credit, value, accepted for value, returned for value, knowing your value assets liquidity you know uh, sea water frozen assets 
Uh -huh. So again, it's all intertwining of, and it's just uh, working that out. You know, we need to do this as a as a, as a team effort. Chapter X, 10, original processes in Chancery, original process generally considered, subpoena to answer, process by publication, attachment to compel an answer. Chapter 11, proceedings between process and appearance, pro confessos and proceedings thereon, motions by the complain, complain, complainant. Part 3. Proceedings in a suit of chancery from the appearance of the defendants to the close of the proceedings. Chapter 12. Appearance and defence. Appearance by defendant. Defence is generally considered. Preliminary motions to the defence. I think I'm going to stop here and just let you read the screen and I'll scroll through. All right. And we'll see what's coming next. Page 17 of 1237. What? I told you it was a big fat one. So you would need to search, while we're scrolling through, we would need to search relevant to your state across the pond. All right, so people that have been asking me to give them a trust, to sell them a trust, uh, of which I've not done ever, um, we teach you how to express your own. We are giving you this information, just, you know, I picked a state here in a publication, of which I learned about just before 2020. When I found Alistair Hudson, Thomas, Jurain, and others in England that are teaching equity and uh, trust law in, a, in an academic sense to as scholars in their field, as renowned by their peers. So we in England look at equity and trust, particularly to our country and our monarch and the merger of church and state. You in America across the pond will need to do the same for your particular state and you will need to uh, find publications on you know and uh, look for chancery proceedings courts of equity publications by professors and etc please in bar please in bar please kinds of please in bar <laughs> answers and disclaimers to bills Cross bills, the joinder of different defences to a bill, analysis and comparison of proceedings, how proceedings are tested. What is chancery, equity, trust? What are the maxims of commercial law and their biblical precepts? Why are the Bible? chapters and verses, exodus, etc. quoted within the commercial maxims of law. What is commercial law? <coughs> Are we in commerce? How do we get assumed to be in commerce? Are we considered to be in implied trusts? Are we commingling jurisdictions? Have we been hoodwinked? Is there a small chance that any of this conspiracy theory of the tin hat foil wearing sovereigns could be slightly true. Have they got evidences to their claims? Yes, we have. They're on this channel. On my heliocentric bibliotech playlist, my equity and trust playlists, you will find the evidences. You seek and ye shall find. That's the beauty of this realm journey that we're in. We're still on the contents, up to 890, 900-ish pages. There's loads of it, you see. It's not physically possible. There's a lot of Latin there as well. Where did I just see some Latin as I uh, born? De Ben Esse. A quo warranto proceeding status quo writs of mandamus. <laughs> Dagnamit. Lots of Roman numerals, you see. Clues. It's not just by chance, not because it looks nice. We look at everything, the text, the context, the subtext, the layout, the gutter text. The Chancery Courts, its history, jurisdictions and principles. Chapter 1, the history of the Chancery Court. 
Article 1, Origin and Evolution of Equity of Jurisprudence. Article 2, History of the Chancery Courts of Tennessee. yippee Get me a Jack Daniels on ice with a cigar and we're going to sit down and have a hold down downtown with a sovereign town. Article 1, Origin and Evolution of Equity Jurisprudence. The Civil Law, Its Development, Evolution of Equity in England. Character of the first chancery suits, principles on which the early chancellors acted. The common law as compared with the civil law. The what? Say that again. The common law as compared with the civil law. Now then, some of the deficiencies of the common law. How the law has followed equity. The divine law of justice. The rule of decision. Other causes contributing to the establishment of the Chancery Court. Uh, it's important for me to note um, such publications as Blackstone's, as Halsbury's, as Bouvier's, as Miriam Webster's, as um, as um, Lexus Nexus, as um, as the Civil Court Practice, as uh, the Oxford publications as well, with regards to um, areas of research and reference. <laughs> The civil law, its development, the system of jurisprudence called equity was originally largely derived from the civil law of the Romans. And its early development in England was similar to the development of an analogous system in the jurisprudence of Rome. Go home, Club of Rome. Therefore, in endeavouring to trace the origin of the Chancery Court, it may well be, it may well to notice briefly the development of the civil law. The early laws of Rome, like the old common law of England, were exceedingly stern, rigid, formal and arbitrary. Paying little attention to abstract right and justice, their judicial proceedings were technical to the last degree. Absolute accuracy was required in complying with the established phrases and acts in the enforcement of civil rights. Any omission or mistake of a word or a movement was fatal, as civilization, however progressed in Rome, subtle technicalities gave way to simpler methods of pleading. But even then, it was found that cases occasionally arose to which the improved formulas were inadequate. These extraordinary cases were decided by the praetor. P-R-A-E-T-O-R without being referred to the ordinary tribunal and without being hampered by any technical requirements to the proper formula or kind of action, he himself determining both the law and the facts of the case. Judge, jury, executioner. Hmm. The complainant stated the facts of his case, the defendant set up his defence, the prayer to decide it. Ah, okay. This extraordinary method of determining, determining suits, so simple, so free from technicalities, so easily moulded to the exigences of every case was found so superior to even the improved formulas that eventually it superseded them and became the only mode of procedure. Much, much as in many of the states and in England, the procedure by bill and answer has supplanted the rigid formulas of common law actions. What? I know. Not only were the pleadings thus simplified by the Roman jurists, but the law was correspondingly improved. Well, uh, that's a matter of opinion, isn't it? <laughs> Fisticuffs. Uh, and a deliberate and persistent effort was made to bring their jurisprudence into perfect harmony with an absolutely impartial equity. That should do equal and perfect justice to all. Well, equity, yes. And thus was perfected. That system of jurisprudence known as the civil law, from which are derived many of the maxims, principles and doctrines of equity. Now, the doctrine of notices lies at the heart of equity. For instance, one of the doctrines, the doctrine of discovery, the Roman doctrine of discovery, for in a court-based scenario. You know, most of you are... Uh, au fait and up to speed with this but others there you go now followed and enforced in the courts of chancery or the chancery courts as it says evolution of equity in england the development of the extraordinary jurisdiction of the chancery court of england was similar 
in its causes, processes and results to the development of the system of equity in the Roman law, as already in intimated. In England, the king was regarded as the fountain of justice, and when any person conceived that he had been wronged, either in court or out of court, he had the privilege of petitioning the king for redress. The king being unable, being unable, to hear and determine all of these complaints because of their number and complexity, generally referred them to his chief secretary, who was called his chancellor. This officer was an ecclesiastically trained, or was this officer was an ecclesiastic, trained in the law and theology of Rome, and was sometimes called the keeper of the king's conscience. When thus directed to adjudicate the rights and determine the remedies of those petitioning the king for justice, as king, as king the questions, the Chancellor naturally had resource to the civil law of Rome, being most familiar therewith, and also finding therein a diviner, diviner sort of justice, a diviner sort of justice, and a simpler and more efficient form of procedure. Besides these chancellors, who were generally very able and very learned men, were no doubt disposed to regard the English common law as a barbarous code compared with the Roman civil law. The chancellor's office was one of great trust and confidence. He was the king's adviser and confidant, the chief member of his council and the keeper of his great seal of state. He is spoken of at a very early day, as one annuls unjust laws and executes the commands of a pious prince and puts an end to what is injurious to the people or to morals. Character of the first chancery suits. The chancellors following the example of Roman praetors applied the equitable principles of the civil law to the determination of all suits referred to them by the king. The suits thus referred were generally applications to obtain redress for injuries and acts of oppression where from the power of the offender or for any other cause a fair trial in the ordinary courts would not be had. Or cases where there were fraud, deceit and dishonesty beyond the reach of the common law and or cases where the common law was inadequate to the requirements requirements of justice in those times of disorder and oppression many were the appeals to the king by the poor and the weak for protection against the rich and the strong the local magistrates often uh, overroared and many were the complaints of want of remedy at law the king unable to give personal attention to so many petitions finally conferred upon the chancellor full authority to give relief in all matters of grace all right, G race, grace. As these applicants for redress were termed and this period petitions began to be addressed to the chancellors themselves and not the king, this delegation of authority was made in the year of 1348. All right, so I got some references there for you to have a look at. I'm not going to read all of this. I'm on page 20. I'm giving you a little splashdown. I'm giving you a gift for free. I believe the times are relevant to uh, warrant this. We want to um, show you love, honour, respect, give our information. Um, we don't sell anything. I won't sell you a trust. SPLS Pro doesn't sell trust. And we will never sell a trust. It's our uh, way of thinking is strengthen the streets, strengthen the societies, create unions, cooperatives, and word of mouth, each one is to teach one, sacred contracts, uh, doing it a different way, illuminate others, share the light, build up the support, it's a longer game, it's a slower game, it's a lot of effort, it involves getting on a hero's quest, it involves getting into hermetic principles, cause and effect, polarities, um, quantum mechanics, it's a uh, flux field of modality, um, as, as as natural law, universal, immutable forces of of, uh, of atomic, subatomic, uh, universal um, sciences. So, you know, I can't say any more than that. We have got some interviews lined up and some chats with um, Brother Simon, a.k.a. commonly known as the Spaniard. Man like Simon's uh, emailed and said, hello, we've got in touch. We've had a chat, Kevin and I. We're lining that up um, very soon. 
There are other things happening in the background. Thank you to uh, Gavin for uh, looking out for us and arranging chats, interviews, and etc. Got to get back to Chris from Rice TV. Um, I've still got a publication to read as well um, regarding um, Illuminati, Freemasons, Congress, books being in Congress. So just stand by and know that there's a lot happening. Um, I'm doing 50 hours a week as an operative in a warehouse. <laughs> and um, we need your support. We need your uh, understanding. We need your patience. And you need to know what go on and how it go on. Origin and evolution of equity. And in the next 50 years, the equity jurisdiction of the Chancellor was clearly established. So we've mentioned before, for England reference and relevance, the 1873-1875 uh, adjudicature. It's not adjudicator, adjudicature. I used to say adjudicator, you know, faux pas, dyslexia, and being on the spectrum of um, differences, not to autism, so to speak, but differences, uh, uniqueness, the spectrum of uniqueness, the... Uh, the spectrum of individuality. Um, I've made a lot of errors. Of even called a, a, a clavicle, uh, a gavel, uh, yeah, a, cl a clavicle, which is a part of the body. You know, where there's a lot of information. There's a lot of language. There's a lot of um, material and subject matter that needs to be chewed through, digested, understand, overstand, you know, understand and go through and repetition and use and practical implementation of that with a successful outcome searching for the remedy the remedy we have much of the remedy already um, kevin warned me about saying um, we have the remedy um, administrative remedy uh, cqv remedy remedy for um, your soul for your salvation for the 1302 unum sanctum all the way through to the uh, the um, the charter or William Charter that's in effect in London to so the various charters and decrees and um, um, what do we have multifaceted dimensions of doom legal religious financial you know or architectures above and below and within our very lives so. Um, these are uh, times where we need to join together and respect our differences, help each other, respect and work together, which is what we're trying to do, which is what we've always done. We have got remedy in many areas, um, not in everything. Those that are looking for the ultimate uh, move to the private, you will be well and looked after. Those looking for material gain and gold and uh, treasury direct and direct accounts and having to do weeks and weeks of work through more than 10 manoeuvres is, is, is not what we're here for. We're here for retention of rights for family, for children, for, um, for fathers, for sons, for daughters, for offspring, for blood, to show you, to show consciousness itself, who you are, what you are, and your options, your rights. If you don't know your rights and you don't know what your rights are, how are you going to know when your rights are being abused? If you don't know that rights are classified at law as property and to ignore and abuse somebody's rights is tantamount to abuse of property. Abuse of property can be linked to, in some ways, construed terrorism, harassment, trespass, injury. How you go about proving this? Who's going to tell you about your rights if you don't know your rights? You know? Why would you employ someone to tell you about your rights? It's in the same gang as the police and the judges and the solicitors and the barristers and the counsellors and the attorneys and, and all of the suits and the Congress and the uh, Senate and Parliament and Lords and monarchy and clubs. You know, uh, again, we need to go private, private resources, private education, which is now known as private enlightenment private education opposite to schooling mark twain never let school get in the way of education principles on which the early chancellors acted you know we've covered england side you need to look at the american side australia side new zealand side bill turner you know where uh, it comes to mind for new zealand and common law and things been around a long time not many bad things said about him man like um, commonly known as spaniard been around a long time not much slate gone on about him a lot of love and respect for him and we will uh, we will see if we can organize that very very soon kevin myself man known as simon from white rabbit trust 
So again, there's a lot of information and you can't just take and copy and paste and use. Um, some of it is interchangeable and transferable and um, processes, courts, language. But then again, these, as you're seeing here, it's pertinent for you to recognise what's at play, what your options are, what the jurisprudence is, what the jurisdiction is, what the duties, obligations and requirements are, how the various elements of law, L-A-W and L-O-R-E, are at your disposal, how you can prove using Ecclesia, Biblical, Abrahamic, Legal, Trust and etc., um, language, church, chattel, cattle, folk, flock, in this existential existence and reality, X is tense, you are, X is this existence, existence, X is ten, C, say ten, souls born uh, coming into the reality, incarnate into reality to help free humanity through the mum, waters, born, female ejaculation, baby coming into this physical realm, and through the serve x x10 cervix serve x serve x10 base 10 number system sumerian mathematics oh my days you know once you get into the yep and the numerology and uh, the yeah my brain i'm rubbing it because the download you know i'm not sure we keep it all in here i'm sure that it connects like the cloud and sometimes when i go on rat tangents and rants and stuff it feels like i get a hot bit there it's as if it's like thin time laser beam coming in I'm not sure it's actually connecting the brain itself or even the DNA with DNA, DNA, water, DNA, water being able to hold terabytes of data, DNA being able to hold terabytes of data, uh, magnetic, electro, electromagnetic existence we're on. So once you get into this game, all right, and you're looking for, it's a surprising where you accidentally end up with the publication of the Lost Keys of Freemasonry by Manly B. Hall on a certain page talking about trusts and, and you know, um, and where we get to, where your comments lead us to, where your praise and grumbles lead us to. So I think that'll do. I think that's enough of a bite, a snippet, an information, a reference point, a conjecture with regards to the promulgation of law, courts, jurisdiction, jurisprudence, authority, Bibles, Latin languages, implied meanings, definitions, multifaceted dimensions of the of the arbitrary systems that we need to be aware of, things you ought to really know, um, alongside your rights and your title rights and common sense, things like that. That's what we're here to do for you, um, by man, for man. I'm allowed to say man because that's what we essentially are, you know, and uh, just... just ride with it language is currently changing law is currently changing monetary systems uh, cash systems are changing everything so uh, they caught mentioning the great reset we had the celestial alignments of the uh, you know uh, couple of years ago and um, the planets all coming into conjunction alignment solar clocks the kingdom of uh, animals above us denoted in the zodiac the kingdom of heaven within Godhead within, I and the Father are one, you know, have I not said, 82nd Psalm, ye are all gods, God is no respecter of persons, with God there is no respect of persons, no matter even if it's a natural person, oxymoronic statement, natural is natural, naturally, created, harmoniously, positive, person, you know, God, creator, Lord, created, man, Man created government, government created persons, lowest down on the food chain, persons title rights, claiming Mr. Mrs. lowest title rights of the food chain, not going to happen. Um, corporeal, incorporeal, juridical, true persons, artificial persons, natural persons, where does legal persons, persons, companies, companies, persons, names, names start with uh, capital letters, nouns, grammatics, uh, syntactic structure, nouns, letters, capital letters, grammatically correct name noun starts with a capital letter signature legal compliant commercial mercantile law starts with a capital letter signature sign capital letter sign of nature signature break it down as a therapist would do the rapist the rapist therapist breaking down etymological root word references this is my job number donny johnny five need more data likes to share the data all right um, being on the spectrum of individuality with a hyperactive thirst for 
you know, we got faith, we don't need Bibles, don't take the Archangel Michael, it's quite vital, you hear this recital, you will all hold the correct equitable title, we get high on the opposite of Nitol, <laughs> This is how we roll, you know. Um, Peter Piper picked a pickle, pickle pepper. The pickle pe pe Peter Piper picked. Peter Piper picked a pickle, pickle pepper. The pickle pepper Peter Piper picked. Propria persona. <laughs> All right, so you know we got passion in our heart. We ain't afraid to show it. Show it. Show it. We're sovereign and we know it. <sighs> We're gonna end it there. We'll be back with some live shows. I am going to talk about um, this one. With the back screen saver on, it's probably not going to show you very well. House of the Temple. Morals and Dogma. Ancient and Accepted Right. R I T E. I knew it. I've got you know, no way of getting that closer to you. I need got back, background I don't want to show. The curtains and blinds. <laughs> All right, but this is uh, Morals and Dogma of the Ancient and Accepted Scottish R-I-T-E, right, of Freemasonry, the Supreme Council of the 33rd Degree Mother Council of the World for the Southern Jurisdiction of the United States and published by its authority. House of the Temple, Washington, D.C., 1966. Albert Pike. You, you, all right. Entered according to Act of Congress in the year 1871 by Albert Pike in the office of the Library of Congress at Washington. Entered according to Act of Congress in the year 1906 by the Supreme Council of the Southern Jurisdiction, AASRUSA, in the office of the Librarian of Congress at Washington. New and revised edition, 1950. The Supreme Council, Mother Council of the World of the Inspectors, General Knights, Commanders of the House of the Temple of Solomon, of the 33rd degree on the ancient and accepted Scottish rite of Freemasonry of the southern jurisdiction of the United States of America. So we're going from Tennessee to the southern, yippee mother truckers, jurisdiction of the uh, of, uh, United States of America, much like the United Kingdom of Great Britain is not England and Wales, much like the United States of America is not in fact the landmass America. All right, so titles of degrees uh, as herein given have in some instances been changed. Correct titles are as follows. One degree, a first degree apprentice. Second degree, fellow craft. Third degree, master. Second de fourth degree, secret master. Fifth, perfect master. Six, intimate secretary or secret Aries. Seven, provost and judge. Eight, in... Tendant of the building. So seventh degree could be a provost or judge and judge. All right. And if the Masons have infiltrated the uh, systems of law, legal, then they'd perhaps be considered as around about a seventh degree. Eight, intendant of the building. Nine, elu of the nine. Ten, elu of the fifteen. Eleven, elu of the twelve. Twelfth, master architect. Thirteen, royal arch. Arch of Solomon. 14. Perfect Elu. 15. Knight of the East. 16. Prince of Jerusalem. 17. Knight of the East and West. 18. Knight Rose Croy. 19. A Pontiff. 20. Master of the Symbolic Lodge. 21. Nochite or Prussian Knight. 22. Knight of the Royal Axe or Prince of Libanus. 23. Chief of the Tabernacle. 24. Prince of the Tabernacle. 25. Knight of the Brazen Serpent. 26. Prince of Mercy. 27. Knight Commander of the Temple. 28. Knight of the Sun or Prince Adept. 29. Scottish Knight of St. Andrew. 30. Knights Karosh. 
31 inspector inquisitor so an inspector would be a 31st degree that's right yeah 32nd degree master of the royal secret and it ends 32nd that's where it ends morals and dogma lodge of perfection all right so the 12 inch rule and the three and the common gavel is where i've left it and where i'll be um going on to so uh stand by for that apologies it hasn't been done yet but um it's underway so all tying everything together part of our continuous journalistic reviews i'm going to say much love thank you for now thank you channel members supporters long-term scribes long-time listeners first-time callers those that are emailing messaging supporting us look in the video description for our links to various areas that i've mentioned and um, we look to seeing you again on a live stream very very soon share this video um, critique it comment on it and um, be sure to set the notifications to on subscribe if you're new we call you scribes rather than sub because sub below um, submit etc to submit your rights to wrestlers uh, tapping out you know tap submit white flag war base scenario when you're performing in the in the stage of war on the world stage how is your performance how is army's performance judged you raise or wave the white flag you're submitting okay so again language terminology what we perceive as common tongue oxford english definitions is not always what's at play what you would believe as united states uh, canada new zealand australia america english is not the uh, mother tongue that you are um, uh, assuming that it is all right so underhanded soft attacks to man will not be tolerated this shit's got to go jack fresco venus project etc what we've brought to you how we've done it we've got a lot of ideas a lot of help a lot of options for you a lot of protection a lot of love all right so um bless up thank you much love and we'll see you soon Boom. we'll end it there all right just let me shut everything down <laughs> too many screens up it's not working there we go Stop the share.